A lot of new information coming in right now as we take a live look at the, as we continue to look live at the, at the Mansfield uh, Performing Arts Center where the families are being reunified with their kids. They, 1,700 kids have now been removed from that school. They're all out of there. But what we hear now is there's an arrest has been made. Uh, Timothy Simpkins turned, you know, turned himself in essentially with, uh, with his lawyer on hand and is in the Arlington uh, Police Department right now. Never have uh, heard of a situation like that after a school shooting where the suspect in this case, uh, they said, communicated with his attorney after he fled the scene there of that school shooting that he reported to that attorney and the attorney then drove him to the police station where he turned himself in and he is now in custody 18 year old Timothy George Simpkins is uh, in meantime uh, let's uh, update you on the other uh, human costs involved here a 15 year old boy is in critical condition at the hospital just got out of surgery uh, after being shot in that school shooting we know that a pregnant woman was treated at the scene uh, for some injuries that she may have sustained in the chaos there. A teenage girl uh, is uh, hospitalized with abrasions, we're told, and a 25-year-old man is in good condition. Uh, we didn't really get a lot of clarity on what his injuries were. Uh, and we're also told that students at other nearby schools uh, who are in locked-in, uh, right. who are locked in right now, not a lockdown, but a lock-in, or lock-out, I should say, should be uh, released soon. Those lockouts should be dropped soon. Uh, so parents of kids in, in those schools will be relieved to hear that as well. Uh, and they think that they have found what may be the weapon. It was a handgun, a 45 caliber, uh, that was uh, recovered in a street in Grand Prairie a couple of miles away. So it sounds like uh, Simpkins will be charged with three counts of aggravated deadly use, aggravated use of a deadly, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Excuse me. Uh, so... It's interesting we haven't quite figured that out, but that would mean that three of those victims somehow would be involved with a uh, the victims hmm. of some sort of gun crime. Mm -hmm. So three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Turns himself in uh, with his lawyer today. Uh, that was, uh, you know, we were, as you say, not anticipating that that was how it was going to end because this yeah. was a manhunt. But here he has, within the last 15 minutes, just delivered himself to the police department um, and and has his uh, has an attorney which is also sort of an unusual Very. an unusual detail that we don't hear much of um, a lot of praise from uh, Mansfield ISD for the way police as we've been hearing all day have handled this and the, and the cooperation and how everyone has worked together a very complicated uh, and arduous long I mean they're still doing it and they probably will be doing this for a long time because I guess everyone's out of that school but they're still taking them over five buses at a time to release them to the parents and as we've seen from that chopper shop from the other side of the building long lines of parents who are eager and probably hopefully patient waiting yeah. for their kids to come out of there. there's a th lot of threads that are yet to be be pulled on this story uh, uh, many different stories coming out of this uh, you know we just learned that the police who are sort of stationed there in-house uh, at Timberview High School were actually already in route to that classroom when they heard the shots fired because there was an indication a of a teacher in distress kind, yeah. uh, which we know those you know classrooms have been outfitted with these ways for teachers to communicate thank goodness uh, but yet the suspect was still able to get away we also learned a lot of people have been asking questions are there metal detectors at the school uh, we have definitively learned that no, there are not, but that's going to be assessed and evaluated. Also, the uh, ISD there saying after school activities canceled today, didn't get a lot of clarity as to whether they were talking about all campuses for Mansfield ISD, certainly for Timberview, but if you've got a kid going to another one, you definitely want to check on that. And then finally, we have to say, uh, you know, police are talking about social media comments yeah. and threats yes. uh, that were made, it sounds like, with that school and with other schools as they were were responding uh, and they say that that actually splintered their response because now they're worried are we dealing with a wider situation it's more going on here uh, that is a really critical part of this in fact one of them saying look at your kids social media uh, and find out if they were one of them because uh, police are aware of those uh, threats that were being made on social media in real time they say if someone was making those threats they can expect to be arrested and prosecuted right. uh, because those teams were being diverted away from this scene at Timberview taking when they were desperately needed. Taking advantage of a situation where there's a lot of confusion and it sounds like uh, you know, Mr. Simpkins might not be the only person potentially prosecuted today from, from, from their actions. So yeah. that's uh, disappointing to hear that. We're glad that uh, he is in custody or that's, that's the latest information and um, an outcome that uh, everyone was hoping for this afternoon.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.